Introducing Emeryville. It's a quick tune-up for the holiday season that'll keep you uh, stable and productive. This has got a, a few basic bug fixes and some tune-ups here and there. We'll run through them now. As you can see, we're installing. The bug fixes include a tune-up to Wi-Fi connecting. So a few people have been having problems with connecting to Shaper Hub, uh, and this will take care of that. The next little bug fix was a problem with low accuracy scans uh, tripping people up. They weren't being saved, so uh, when people have a really squirrely sort of environment with uh, challenging distorted tape and stuff, uh, when they just wanted to cut a rough pattern, uh, the file wasn't being saved. So now we give you a warning saying it's not a, a highly accurate scan, so don't expect the best cut quality, but you can still go to it in workspaces and continue cutting. So if you just need to get a job done, uh, we don't get in the way of that. We see here the language and region setting changes, which are primarily system upgrades to enable us to eventually support additional regions beyond the USA. As many of you have noticed, we recently announced expansion into Canada. So they can be found in the settings menu, and that's simple to operate. The next feature is in profile. I'll sign out. Uh, you'll see here the uh, data entry fields are uh, different. So now we get an improved uh, ability to type here and then click back through the uh, text string. And then if you hold, you'll see you can uh, zoom in and select the element you want. So rather than previously, it was a bit frustrating. You had to delete the whole thing basically or start deleting at the end uh, to manipulate your text field. So that's Emeryville. I hope that keeps you productive over the holiday season. And if you get a moment, please post a project to Shaper Hub or tag us on Instagram.